hear the lion roaring round the zoo? Can you hear the lion roaring round the zoo? Can you hear the lion roaring? Can you hear the lion roaring? Can you hear the lion roaring round the zoo? Did you know that a lion's roar can be heard up to eight kilometers away? Hi friends, it's Miss Brittany from the Racine Zoo and I'm bringing little explorers to you. I can't wait to see you again in person, but until then, I hope these little classes will hold you over. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to learn a little bit about lions. So I'm gonna tell you five fun facts about lions. My first fact about lions is that lions are very, very social. They are the most social of all the cats and they live in huge groups called prides. These prides are often consisting of their family, but they can have other lions too. And um, these prides can be up to 30 lions large. My second fact is that you will find lions in the wild in Africa on the savannah. My third fact is that lions are carnivores. They like to eat meat, like things like zebras, and the female lions are the hunters of the pride and they hunt at night. My fourth fact about lions is that you can tell a girl lion and a male lion apart by the mane. So female lions do not have manes, which is the hair around the head, and male lions do. So if you wanna tell female and male lions apart, or girl boy lions, you can tell by the hair around the neck. And it is said that they think they have this hair to help protect the neck for when they have to fight for their pride. My fifth fact about lions is that Simba means lion in the African language Swahili. Those are my five fun facts about lions. I hope you liked them. At the Racine Zoo, we have three lions. We have Azizi, we have Zuri, and we have Aslan, our male lion. Lions are becoming more and more endangered every year. In the last 10 years, their population has declined by 30%. They are now critically endangered and on the risk of extinction. So now that we've met our lions that we have at the Racine Zoo, I wanted to teach you how to say lion in sign language. Now lion in sign language is where you take your hand and you put it near your forehead and then you push it back. This means lion and that signifies their mane. Good job. Now a lion also starts with the letter L and to do the letter L in sign language, you go like this. Great job. So today for our story, we're gonna be reading lion lessons. Lion lessons. It's not easy to get your lion diploma. I know, because I took lessons. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said, but first we must stretch. We did the upward lion, we did the downward lion, we did the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and we shook our manes. Step one was looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bear your claws, you gnash your teeth, and you show your fangs. I tried out my three most frightening poses, but the lion wasn't very impressed. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. You take a deep breath and you roar as loud as you can into the microphone. Roar! I took a deep breath and I roared as loud as I could, but the lion said, hmm, needs work. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. On the menu, there was muskrat and wombats, organic iguana, grass-fed new wild warthog, and prairie-raised anteaters. Are there any specials, I asked? You know, like spaghetti? The lion growled, we don't eat spaghetti. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes and he said, I can see your tail. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion. I can still see it. 
step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. You mean the little one here? The lion said, no, the big one on the faraway hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, the lion said. Step six was pouncing. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death, I said. Oh, well, that's kind of the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start and I pounced. Oh, what a cute little kitty, the lady said. Are you lost? And all I could say was meow. The lion checked my scores. He said, this is not very promising. Step seven was looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, the lion said. That's easy, friend. What about the dog? I let out a ferocious roar and I bared my claws and I gnashed my teeth and I pounded on the ground and I shook my mane and then I sprinted across that field as fast as I could. And I pounced, exactly like, well, you know, a lion. Bravo, the lion said. And that is how I got my lion diploma. And I'm very proud of it. But now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. What a fun book. Would you go to lion school and get lion lessons? I would love to get a lion diploma. So before we go, we're going to sing a song about lions. We're going to sing a song about five little lions. So we're going to need our five counting fingers. Let's count them to make sure we have five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. We have our five fingers. But since we learned how to say lion in Swahili, I also wanted to teach you how to count to five in Swahili. Are you ready? Let's do it. Moja, one. Billy, two. Tat, two, three. Enne, four, and Tano, five. Good job. Five little lions letting out a roar. One ran away, and then there were four. Four little lions climbing up a tree. One fell down and bumped his knee. He ran away, and then there were three. Three little lions eating cantaloupe stew. One went home, and then there were two. Two little lions basking in the sun. One got sunburned, he ran home, and then there was one. One little lion feeling all alone. He got so lonely that he went home. Well, friends, I've had so much fun learning about lions with you, but that's all I have for today. So I hope to see you soon, and thanks for spending some time with me to learn about lions. See you later, alligators.